joining us tonight, a new report is out about a controversial and deadly encounter between a man in crisis and police officers in Charlottesville. NBC 29's Madison McNamee live in the newsroom with a breakdown of what led up to the end of Billy Sight's life back in February. Hi, Madison. Casey, we know from the Charlottesville Commonwealth's attorney's report, six officers shot at and killed Billy Sites out of fear for themselves and innocent people in the surrounding area. Now, this all happened February 28th in the woods between the Red Roof Inn and 250 Bypass near Hydraulic Road. Evidence was gathered from 15 body cameras and two police cruiser mounted cameras. 34 witnesses were interviewed. There was drone footage for more than two hours. Billy Sites refused to surrender peacefully or drop his weapon. And according to this report, threatened again and again to shoot officers. Sites refused to drop his pistol at times, waving it at times, pointing it at his own head at times, firing it into the air. One officer quote asked Sites to drop his weapon 24 times towards the end of the confrontation. Sites started walking towards the Red Roof Inn with his handgun and continued across Route 250 and then the densely populated area of Emmett Street. Three times, the account says officers tried to use non-lethal tactics to stop sites. Three times that failed. The review from Commonwealth's attorney Joe Platania says it was when sites pointed his pistol directly at exposed and unprotected Albemarle County SWAT team members that six officers discharged their weapons at almost exactly the same time. The shooting lasted three seconds. Sites was hit seven times and died. Platania's report says the police response was justified. Now, Sight's father asked that the video and other related evidence not be released, and Commonwealth Attorney's Office is honoring that request for now. Live in the studio, Madison McNamee, NBC 29 News at 5.